Hey, what's up guys? This is Nick from Nick Expose. On this episode of Two Minute Tuesday, I wanna talk about a subject that's just been on my mind over the last couple of weeks, and uh, it's not directed towards any particular person, but it's kind of me looking back on a lot of my creative walk and my, my photographic journey and coming to a big realization to where uh, I'll start off this way and say I was looking for permission in a lot of different things uh, as far as creativity goes, as, as far as developing film and, and pushing film and all these different things to where if I didn't have the permission that I was looking for, I just didn't step forward into it. Let me give you an example. So back when I started developing my own film, I started uh, the shop here in town only sells Ilfosol 3. So that was the developer that I started with. As I started reaching around on online and started looking at how to start uh, pushing film, uh, people were saying that Ilfosol 3 just wasn't good for pushing film. Oh, it's not a good uh, push developer. It's not good for pushing anything further than whatever. It's not, you know, your times are too long or anything like that. So I just didn't push film for the longest time. Or if I did, I'd send it out to the lab and then they would develop it and send it back to me and whatever. Uh, then one day, I, I found the, the times for pushing the film in Ilfosol 3 and I, I decided why not try it at least and, uh, and just see what happens. I figured, okay, if it's a bombed experiment, then I know for sure and I could just move forward with my merry life and send out to the lab when I push or anything like that or get a, a different developer in the future. And uh, I pushed it. I pushed to 1600 and it came out fantastic. The grain was beautiful, the contrast was beautiful, and everything worked out just fine. And then I started pushing further to 3200, 6400, 12,800, all the way to 52,500 with amazing, amazing results. And, and I just started realizing that I was being paralyzed for something that I really didn't need to be paralyzed on. I could have been pushing film and developing at home the entire time. Then fast forward to when I got Kempmere 400 and I started looking into, okay, uh, if I'm ever strapped for cash and I can't afford HP5 in bulk, if I want to go with a cheaper film stock, what's the best film stock? And I started looking into Kentmere and uh, started looking around to see, you guys know I push everything to two stops or more, and uh, started looking into it and people were saying, no, Kentmere can't be pushed much more than 800. Uh, anything beyond that, it just starts falling apart. So, uh, <laughs> despite what everyone was saying, I still got a bulk roll, and I pushed the first roll to 6400, and had absolutely incredible, incredible results. And I actually accidentally underdeveloped it uh, by a couple minutes. Then I started pushing just on regular to 1600, and started realizing that Kentmere is an amazingly, amazingly versatile film, and other people started jumping on and pushing it and everything like that, to where, before the voices in the market were saying it can't be done or it shouldn't be done or all these different things, but uh, I just want to start challenging those ideas. If you are pushing, like last week's question was about JCH 400 and uh, Pancro 400, if you want to push it, despite other people might say it can't be pushed, just start pushing it. See how it can be pushed. I guarantee you it can be pushed. It might need to be overexposed by a stop or two stops or something like that. Uh, if you're using a developer that people are saying it's not good for pushing, maybe adjust your times and see what might happen when, when you start tweaking the formula a little bit, when you start tweaking your, your temperature a little bit and start reducing times or anything like that. And the big thing that I want to point out is you don't need permission to experiment. If other people are saying it can't be done, go and prove them wrong. Or go and prove them right and then you know for sure. But the big thing within creativity is it's all about experimentation. It's all about problem solving. It's all about getting out there and doing the things that other people thought were impossible or hard or difficult or non-existent in the past and then doing them. And then showing them. And then showing the way so then other people could go and do the same thing. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy this topic. I really want to talk about this topic on the live stream later on today and kind of dive in a little bit further because I, I think that this actually expands even further than just film and developer but really in all aspects of creativity. What are the things that people have been telling you you can't do whether it be with your zines or your projects or whatever it might be and let's start talking about how we can do it. Let's start equipping you and uh, you know even though I'm saying you don't need permission let's start giving you the permission. Here, here's another way that I could say it, is you have full permission to be able to go forward 
an experiment. And I really look forward to seeing what you guys' experiments come up with. So let's talk about this on the live stream later on today at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard here on YouTube Live. And, uh, and then if you're new to the channel, go ahead and check out some of the other videos. I think you're really gonna enjoy the community that we have around here. And then a lot of the Two Minute Tuesday topics where we dive in deep on creative thinking and thought process, but then some of the other videos as well. How to bulk load, how to make your own leather strap out of a, a leather belt, and, and just all sorts of different videos. How to thrift store shop for film cameras. Go check it out. I'd love for you to like and subscribe and join the community, join the conversation, leave your comments down below, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on the live stream later on today, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard. Until then, go and push yourself two stops.